Angie! Yeah? Come here, I want you to try this. I'm testing the new Sour Series. Needs to be more sour. Yeah. It's ready. It's right. No, listen, I have the combination. I got it. It's perfect. It's exactly the way we want it to be. Perfect. Nice shirt. The Mecca. <laughs> nice shirt. You're repping today. Your hometown. Yeah. Repping. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm repping Boston. Back. Back at Kilo. And I got something for you. I'll put that on camera. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. You're official. <laughs> Where do I put this? On your keychain. It's your fob. Yeah, but then I gotta take the right car. Ah. Yeah, you may want to keep it separate. You know what I'm saying? I told I told Jay he came in yesterday. Send me a picture of him. Hold as on. I was training, he came did to me. Did you send me the picture? Or did he, he send me? The I picture? sent you the picture, but he told me, texted you also. But he said, uh, I said, yeah, Jay said, uh, you know, he liked your you place. You threw him under the bus, huh? I, no, no, I said, I said, uh, <laughs> I don't have a key. I throw you under the bus, yeah. <laughs> but I, I said, don't you? Let's come together. He said, yeah, but you, Jay said, I don't have a fob. <laughs> I just started laughing. I said, well, I'm sure if he asked, he'd give you one. But I didn't even ask. He actually came and offered it. You know, so you know how he loves you. He said, any any gym I have, Jay So maybe I'll be here. Um, a little bit more often. Well, how close is that to your house? It's close to your house. Well, it's closer definitely. Ten minutes. If I don't go to the office. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm stuck at home. Yeah, on the last... weekend, though, if I don't happen to go, it's ten I've minutes. I've stuck these last two days. Because uh... it's a, for me, it's about like 15 minutes and about eight minutes from your house. So it's got to be like eight minutes for you. Not even, 10 minutes, something like that. Yeah, it's close by. Yeah. You, you just hang out in this plaza anyway. I love so. that. I just had a coffee. I was falling asleep. I was waiting for you, dude. Really? I was like, dude, I had my meal like two hours ago. I'm like, oh, I was hanging out. To... Well, I thought it, they'd be done a lot sooner. Yeah, that's okay. I just had a coffee. Yeah. I love chilling here, just watching my workout. There's a table over there, some coffee. Will you, uh, <clears throat> you could have been catching up on work. Think about how much work you do. Yeah, I know. I was waiting home, you know, I just came, when you told me that you were going to take a shower, then I came here. I said, okay, I'll just wait here. Sometimes I'll do that. I'll check my email. I'll do, could work on a computer. It's Did nice. Did you drink that coffee or? Yeah, yeah. Did you show the viewers what, what we have? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so nice. So this is like a little sitting area, free coffee over there. This place is awesome. Oh, is that <laughs> thumbnail right there? Did you show them the thumbnail? Yeah, yeah. So this is where we took a thumbnail last time. Yeah. What are we going to do? Do the same thumbnail over and over? No. <laughs> We're going to have to figure something else. What are we training today? Face chest. Yes. Not shoulders. I did shoulders yesterday. Good. I think the viewers are sick of seeing We always shoulders. do. Somehow we always film on shoulders. Is that your shit over there? Or? No, no. My stuff is right here. Uh, so that's it? You get the lights in the house, like, like you said? The house is lit up. 
Like Claude Griswold. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I actually didn't know. I didn't even see it till last night. I came home. Yeah, you know, I got home kind of late last night because I ended up training after I went to the office. Yeah. So I think I got home about like eight thirty or nine or something. Well, oh, you come back early. late, dude. I know, but I was stuck at the house half the day yesterday. Okay. And uh, I was working from home because I had a conference call. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. For the cultivation and stuff, you know. So. Yeah. Gets you out of your routine. You had a call to that one. You don't like that. <laughs> yeah, well, they were fixing the security. Oh. So I had to be there. And, of course, everyone makes their appointments in the middle of the day. I'd yeah. them in the morning. But, yeah, yeah. And they had to change out. One of the things was bad so the camera doesn't switch. You know? Oh, okay. Nice. I got my Preval right here. Not Preval. The other one. Amplify. Amplify, yeah. Peach. Peach. Yeah, so we're going to do some chess today, um, which is kind of cool because it's a little different yeah. from the norm. Uh, we won't be doing this. You know, sometimes when you train, train at the same gym. You kind of get uh, stuck in the same routine, yeah. You get stuck in the same routine. But, you know, it's kind of funny because we talk about, like, switching up all the time. And truthfully, like, when I was training, like, full capacity for the Olympias, I didn't deviate much. Nope. Like I started with the same incline hammer press, then I'd go to flat dumbbell press, and then I would do incline barbell, incline uh, dumbbell, depending on the week. But I always did the same order, and I, I can honestly tell you guys, like even today, I don't change my workouts one bit. So people that think you need to, oh, I started with hamstring curls last time for hamstrings, let's do stiff legged deadlifts. I don't do that shit. Yeah. I just keep it very simple. Yeah. Um, you know, I I, I think people try way too hard these days to deviate from the simplicity of training and that's what makes it not so enjoyable for a lot of people and for me I, I want it to be fun so I don't want to have to overcomplicate it although I journaled things in the past I literally in my brain I have 25 years of recycled workouts and in every day the intensity is going to be a little better I would have loved to train at 10 in the morning ideally I would have been in the gym at 10 this morning and this week's been totally screwed up and as you guys know, um, I didn't finish my 50 plus days in a row. I stopped at 53. I had to take a day off because uh, I didn't feel well last Friday or whatever. Yeah, so not so, by choice. Yeah. So we, I, my plan was, you know, to kind of run like without taking a day off until we left for Olympia because I did, didn't think we would probably train at the Mr. Olympia. Although I yeah. hear that the hotel has a huge gym. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's like a commercial gym. Oh, nice. Okay. So... Yeah. I, gonna, I remember asking you last Olympia in 2013, I said, do you ever get tired of doing the same thing all the time? Do you get bored? And do you remember what you said? <laughs> you said, I don't train for entertainment. <laughs> I train for result, is what you said to me. I'm yeah, like, okay. and, and you know what? I mean, I been, I've been a little looser with my diet, meaning I'm not eating as much. and I'm finding it where I'm not, my workouts aren't as productive the last week because I just don't get the meals in properly right now um, that I should. I've been eating probably three meals a day for a lot of days. Why, um, you're too busy? What's I just, going? I don't know. I just, don't feel not, like I'm it. never too busy because I hate that excuse. Oh, I'm too busy to, to, I mean, my life is still as a professional, right? So mm -hmm. um, I just eat kind of how my appetite tells me and my appetite's not telling me because I'm not training over intensely and I, I was sick last week. Yeah, I didn't yeah. feel good in my stomach. I eat bad food. And when you eat bad food, the last thing you want to do is eat. Like I had soup for a day and the next day I ate really kind of light. And, yeah. you know, I went to Cheesecake Factory this week and I did have, um, you know, a, I had a salad and a slice, of, you know, a couple of slices of pizza. Uh. That was my food. I didn't even want to order chicken breasts and rice. And when did you go? I was there Saturday. Um, no, I went the day you, I told you, I invited you to come. I think it was Sunday. Oh, the, the next yeah, day, Sunday. Sunday. Oh, that's where you went? Ah, nice. I think we were talking about going. Right here? Or right yeah, right here. Okay, right nice. Here. So we're gonna do. So we did one more warm-up set of feel set seventy-five. Yeah. So look at the size of these eighties. <laughs> it looks impressive. Yeah. Let's see how. We'll see how light it is. These are like Gold's Gym Venice weights. Right. They're not Vegas weights. See how big those look? That would be a good thumbnail, right there. I know. Yeah, yeah. Just we're... don't just don't show the number. I 
so we're going to super set. Okay, so we're going to be between this and the incline. This way you can use gold steel. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's get a, a steady film of this. Alright, so I'm going to superset. So this is going to be the last two exercises. So I'm going to do incline and then with the uh, cable seated. How many was that? I want to say twelve. I didn't count. I think 12. Twelve. Oh, Milos would love this. <laughs> I know you just super set. <laughs> Breaking all your own rules. <laughs> you know, for me, like I don't, I want things to be as simple and as possible. And, and let me explain to people, like I just want to do as least as I have to do to get the best results. And I think that's all the the most sense for anyone. Some people like, oh, I want to outwork that person or this and that. But truthfully, like I want to spend fifteen minutes in the gym a day if I can. That's enough for me. I come in, I get the job done. It, it's enough to kind of clear my head a little bit. I don't want to spend two hours in here. I'm going to spend, you know, today probably 30 minutes doing chest. That would be my chest workout, um, depending how fast I move and, you know, roll with it from there. That's a good question, though. How long were you work out when you were full tilt for body part? Depends how many people showed up. Just you? Uh, 40 minutes. Really? Yeah, 40 minutes. Because you did a lot of volume. Yeah, 20 sets. Mm -hmm. Wow, you, you train quick. But you know, once I got that Good Olympia going. title, it seemed like more and more people showed up I to know. train every day. You remember I when we all go to the gym and it was like, it's like fuck, six we had people, split partners, and and people would talk and you'd get pissed. You're like, no talking. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it was no one was taking it serious enough, you know. And you're coming with me, like I'm trying to still win Olympias. Yeah, of course. You know? Dude, it was so hard. I would just focus on my next set. I remember how it was because the set would still come fast to me. You train so quickly, so I would just shut my mouth and just yeah. wait for the next one. You know? Yeah. I, so, yeah. Those were the days. We had some good times. Oh, right? man. It was oh, kind of cool when I was doing the interviews for the Olympia and I was reminiscing a little bit about yeah. uh, We were talking about, um, you know, bringing me back to, like, 09. And, you know, because, of course, the big topic is, like, can Phil Heath come back and win after yeah. losing, right? Yeah. And I was kind of like, they're like, what was the 09 like when you did come back? And I'm like, man, I just had a great. That's great. I had a great off season leading build up to it, right? And when the world is against you, everyone, everyone thought, oh, it's impossible for Jay. I, you know, I was just watching a Flex Wheeler Dorian Yates interview, and they're like, uh, one had Flex, uh, one had Kai Green winning, and one had uh, Phil Heath winning, and or Dexter Jack, I don't know what to Dexter or something, and. Uh, well, here I was thinking that I was for sure going to win the thing back, and that's what I did, you know. Someone said recently, I think it was, uh, I, I think it was on Joe Rogan. Someone was mentioning that, and we're talking about the difference between being a challenger and being the champion. And they said, when you're the challenger, you got nothing to lose. All you want to do is get to the top. So it, that hunger is just like once you become the champion, and if you've been champion for a couple of years, that hunger is sort of replaced with a fear of losing the title. Is that true for you? Oh yeah biggest fear is to never to lose that high you know yeah that yeah. made a lot of sense when they said that i'm like oh that must have been how you felt you know that's like you know it's like you know you hear these stories about like these people that you know they want to get as high as they can and they chase that the rest of their lives right 
And I think it's it's like all of us. Like when you know when you join the gym the first year, you put on the fifty pounds, right? Mm-hmm. Like every it's like I put on fifty pounds, and everyone's like, "Oh, how'd you do that?" And then as I meet more people, people put on 50, 60, 70 pounds, right? So it's not not so impossible um, naturally, you know. Um, if you, especially if you you're starting at one hundred and fifty and you get up to one eighty, you know, one ninety, that's like right. It's it's reasonable. So you think that okay, I'm gonna I did that this year. I'm gonna do it again next year. Yeah, I'll double that. Fifty, you know. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like you are putting on five pounds. You're so disappointed. I know you, that initial big jump. Yeah, never happens again. How it was yeah. like you know winning the Olympia is like you know you go from being second to first. That's a huge you saw. Yeah, it was a huge achievement. Hurdle, like yeah. to get there, and there's a big gap between first and second. Yeah, dude, like. And I, anyone out there striving to be the best in the world at something, like that is a huge, huge like step forward from second to first, especially when you're second for, you know, five, six years. Yeah. And it was uh, it's pretty amazing, but you know, it, rem- it brought back a lot of memories. So, you know, this this year will be a lot of memories, but I can't see there's no one that had because of COVID and everything, no one had the off season I did. You know what I mean, like. That off season from 08 to 09. Yeah, you were on a mission for an entire just, year. Just clicking, you know. Yeah. It was just, and it was like all of a sudden I lost the title, so the pressure was off. Yes. So when I could train on that environment, it you was became, that much, I got that much yeah. hungry. Everyone I, wrote you off. Yeah. So now you had nothing to lose, yeah, everything man, to gain. It was just fucking crazy, yeah. man, how I just. I'm glad you talked about I that. because Yeah. I was just, when they said that, I'm like, oh, man, that's, I, I want to ask you that question because it resonated, you know. It, I don't know. You know, I've never been a champion, so I'm sure a lot of people are asking what it's like to be in your shoes, what it's like to be at the top spot. You know, it can't be easy all the time. So kudos to all those people who have gone multiple years. And I'd love to talk to Dorian and Ronnie and Phil and all these guys about it because I don't know if they would admit it, though. <laughs> Sometimes yeah, people don't you know, want to admit, you know. It's so much easier to view my career now that this much retired right every year it gets easier and easier to say holy shit that was me like i was doing that <laughs> i was just watching some i was just watching someone and they mentioned that you know you're stepping away i was watching fuad's podcast mm. and he was talking to dennis james and and dennis james was like yeah i got fourth at the olympia like he, now he's oh, like three. holy shit yeah like, that's a huge achievement to be Hell yeah. in the top four. Yeah. And you don't realize it when you're in it. You think, oh, fuck, I got four. I know. It's not good enough. I know. Because you want to win. Yeah. But I walked through this gym today, you know, as a champion, like a world champion bodybuilder. Like when people say, who is that guy? You know, someone that doesn't know. They're like, that guy was the is the best bodybuilder. They usually say he's the best bodybuilder in the world. Yeah. Like. They don't even say, because people don't count. They don't even pay attention. Like half the people don't even know if it's three, four, 10, 12. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, But they're able to say that was the best bodybuilder. Not, they don't say all that like 20 years ago. Yeah. But but realistic, it was uh, 11. uh, Oh, six. So 13 years ago since I won won my last one. Yeah. Right. 14 years. Yeah. 10 years. Yeah. 14 years since I won the first, but, you know, 10 years since I won the last, but. You know, I'm still in that shape where people say, oh, yeah, the guy lifts weights. Right? You get a lot of kudos. People always say, man, yeah. nobody looks like this retired. That's great. <laughs> you love it. One day out from the Olympia, still trying to burn a little fat. <laughs> I haven't been doing my cardio. I did uh, Jay, like walking outside two days ago. but Really? I just did 30 minutes after training. So Yeah. I'm wrapping up. You were making fun of my gym bag. I know. I was like, Can you imagine dude. Imagine all the gym bags I have. I own. I own a company that makes. Gym bags. I thought you're so frugal. Yeah. What, what's in Jay's gym bag? My keys. Shake the cup and my two workouts. What would you tell a Cito right now? I'm busted. <laughs> I'll just send it. So, so that finishes my my massive my massive chest workout. Bursting chest workout. Yes. Is that what we're calling it? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, today we train at a different club. Obviously, it's pretty quiet here, and yeah. it's a little later, so it's uh, you know, like five thirty, roughly. It's, 5:30. it's actually right? six o'clock. Six right o'clock. Now. Oh, so, Jim, I gotta go eat. <laughs> so six o'clock, uh, chest training, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. We're gonna have a lot of content this weekend, so yep. hopefully, you're gonna edit this right. You're yep. Going, uh, right before we leave. Hopefully, so. we see some of our JTV people at the Olympia. Yeah, come in and introduce up. yourself, right? Yep. And uh, we'll be filming some stuff there. 
and uh, guys keep killing it make sure you're subscribed to the channel hit the button now subscribe and uh, comment below tell we'll me what you think of my massive Boston <laughs> chest workout we'll see you at the Olympia see you guys there